Welcome to our video lecture on challenges to EMI implementation. While many professors and students think EMI has many benefits, they also have concerns. And one main concern is the costs that are associated with implementation. EMI is expensive. Should the money be used for a different initiative? Another concern is how EMI affects local language. Will students be able to learn academically in their native language once they become so proficient in English? Will they lose their language and start to prefer English instead? The main costs for EMI instruction come from increased costs from professors teaching these courses in terms of per course increases and also additional time to prepare for the courses and increased costs for materials and textbooks. EMI lecturers also wonder how much of the native language they can use in an EMI class. And this is an important point. We don't want students to stop developing in their native language. We want them to become bilingual and highly proficient in both languages. So remember that EMI can include the native language and that it is recommended to create a multilingual, not a monolingual classroom when teaching in EMI. Throughout this course, we will explore different ways to help support students as they learn in English, but continue to utilize their native language as well. A third point can be both a challenge and a strength. This is that EMI is very flexible and situation specific. In other words, EMI can be implemented in different ways in different courses with different instructors and with different students. This is a strength because the flexibility of EMI allows for more opportunities for success for your students. But it can also be challenging since there is no one right way to teach an EMI course and it can be hard to make decisions given the large number of options. For that reason, this course will outline basic principles that lead to EMI course success and you as a course developer or instructor can create the types of courses that best fit your teaching situation. Another thing to discuss is some of the challenges to EMI implementation. Stop the video and think to yourself, what do you think some major challenges are? Write down at least five challenges. Then play the video again and see how your list compares with mine. Okay, I'm gonna discuss 10 challenges. One big one is in who is teaching the EMI courses. Lectures need to possess both content knowledge and knowledge on how to support students as they learn English. This includes how to clarify meaning and enhance comprehension in English. But for many instructors, the biggest challenge isn't the English itself, but rather getting used to the new teaching style and methods that need to be used with EMI courses. As instructors, you can have strong English but still not be successful in an EMI course because the teaching method is not interesting for students and can be hard for them to understand. Another instructor might not have perfect English, but is very successful in their EMI course because they use interactive and student-centered teaching methods. So the EMI instructor is the first consideration in our challenges. Another challenge is that students are often not sufficiently prepared. They may have diverse English proficiency levels, with some not having sufficient English to study content, and others having a very high English, even maybe higher proficiency than the instructor. Students also might not know how to learn in another language, or they might be shy about speaking English in class. They may not have the critical thinking and communication skills for EMI courses. It can be hard to help students stay motivated in these circumstances. A third challenge is that effective materials, strategies, and assessment tools need to be found or created. This means it takes time for the lecturer to collect or make all of these materials, or if an international quality English textbook is used, these can be expensive for either the students or the university, or the level of the English in the textbook may be too high for EMI students. A fourth challenge is that it can be harder for students to have to learn the content in a non-native language, particularly concepts that require deep learning. This also takes considerably more of the student's time. 
Many students in EMI courses have to go home after the class and look up the topics and teach themselves, often in their native language. Related to this is the fifth challenge, which is assessment in EMI. Some lecturers are concerned that students fail not because they don't understand the content, but because they don't understand the English 